from a fallout shelter in Hollywood. It's the, 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 the Tom Likas Show. Really? And now, and now, here he is, Tom Likas. Thank you for tuning in to the Tom Likas Show. This is where America gets together to talk about the issues you really care about. It's a different kind of a radio talk program. We're the radio talk show. Hey. Not hosted by a right-wing wacko or a convicted felon. No. I am your host. Write down our telephone number. You're going to need it. It's one 800 5 800 Tom. 1-800-5-800-866. Thank you for tuning in. Thanks for being part of our program. And we are together again on the radio. I want to talk to you about an uncomfortable subject for some people, but no subject is uncomfortable for me. As you know. Now, let me just say this. Those of you who are regular listeners to this program, know that I have I have been with women from around the world and they are not all Spanish speaking countries contrary to popular belief I've been with women from all over oh yeah lots and lots of countries yes France Switzerland Australia India the list goes on and on, not to mention Colombia, Cuba, Venezuela, Costa Rica, all over the world. Now, I know there are many of you out there who only date within your own group. You know, Caucasians who date only Caucasians and Mexicans who only date Mexicans or, you know, Chinese Americans who only date Chinese. You know what I'm talking about. One of the things you find out is you date women from various countries is that they have different, um, shall we say, grooming procedures. That's right. Different standards as to uh, what is clean cut or what is clean shaven or what should be shaven. Some of you guys out there uh, may already know what I'm about to tell you, and some of you may be surprised to hear it. You know how in this country uh, women like to get that kind of bikini wax look? That shaved to an inch of your life look that that so many of you love so much. There are countries where women don't do that. In fact, there are countries where women don't even take a weed whacker down there. You know what I'm talking about? I was with one woman from, let's just say, a European country. You know, it's one thing to have, I'm not kidding, it's one thing to have stubble on your legs. Have you ever grabbed somebody's ass and felt just a small amount of hair? In this country, you'd go in and get it waxed. You'd go in and get something done. I mean, we've all heard about women in various European countries leaving their armpits unshaven or leaving their legs unshaven or kind of stubbly or, you know, they don't shave often or what have you. But um, I literally grabbed a woman's ass and felt stubble. By the way, that was the end of the evening right there, in case you're wondering. That was too much. Even I didn't want to take that much of a trip around the world. It's true. There are parts of the world where 
women don't even think about having hair in various parts of their body. When, when I was in Alaska with Gary a few years ago, we met a woman, a woman, and I. And this was not somebody who was pre-op. This was not somebody who was, uh, you know, had some kind of hormonal issue. This was somebody who was tending to a full-on dark beard. A woman. Oh, yeah. Why? You know, this is the kind of question we don't even want to ask. We don't even want to ask the question. You see, you guys give me all the dirty work to do, right? One time, as you know, on this program, uh, I frequently make public appearances. And when I make public appearances, women ask you to take out a Sharpie and sign their breasts. At one appearance, a woman took her shirt up. She was of some Mediterranean background. I don't remember. She may have been Greek, if I recall correctly, of Greek heritage. This woman had a hairy chest. I had to sign those. I mean, it makes me wonder how many women out there actually have to deal with this stuff. I think another reason people are uncomfortable talking about this is because it gets into race and ethnicity. I mean... We all like to believe that, uh, you know, we're all trying for equality in this world and we're all equal. But, you know, if you are of different races, you got different physical attributes or different physical characteristics. It's not just skin color. I have met more than one African-American woman who had sideburns. Now, it's not, you know, there's nothing wrong with the fact that your body grows hair in certain places if you're a certain race or certain ethnicity. The question is, what do you do about it? Like the countries where women have a little mustache, you know, like, do you bleach it? Do you shave it? Do you have it uh, lasered out? Well, in this country, mostly women do. Even if they come from backgrounds of having dark hair on their face or... Other parts of their body. In this country, women Americanize themselves, and they pretty much filch that stuff off. But if you date women from other continents, it could be Africa or Asia or South America. By the way, in South America, they do not believe South America is a separate continent from North America. Do you know that? How many continents are there? How many continents do they teach you in school there are? Right? Seven. Seven continents, right? North America, South America, Europe, Asia, Africa, Australia. What's the one I'm missing? Antarctica. Thank you, Art. Yeah, well, in South America, people believe there are five continents. One of them is called America. And they don't even count Antarctica as a, as a continent. In fact, somebody said to me, why do you think the Olympics have five rings? It's to represent the five continents. So there's not just other ways of waxing or shaving around the world. They also believe there's a different number of continents and other stuff. And they have that goddamn metric system, which I will never understand. But... Um, I imagine this is largely a female problem. You know, men, unless they've got hairy backs, men are not worried about where the hair grows, how much of it there is. Sure, some guys give themselves a little trim down there. Sometimes when guys get older, they have hair growing out of their ears and they have to, like, you know, deal with it. But, you know, if a man has a hairy chest, he generally lives with it or, uh, you know, is proud of it. Hairy legs, you know, unless you're a biker. A bicyclist or whatever. Um, you know, guys don't shave that stuff. They just let it go. It's women who are expected to be smooth and silky. 
And I'm sure there are women out there right now who have dealt with this. I'm sure there are men who have met women who are hairy in ways we never imagined. Now, when people's clothes are on, you can't see where the hair is growing. I can't sleep with every woman in town and... You know, I can't do all the research here, but I'm sure you've had experience with this. I'm sure you have met women out there who have uh, unusual hair in unusual places, and they just don't seem to want to do anything about it. And maybe you've been freaked out by it. How about the chicks with a unibrow? You know, I mean, who has a unibrow besides people who are too poor to get their eyebrows waxed? Who has a unibrow? Who? When I was in Spain, I saw one woman after another with a unibrow. Wow. So whether you're a woman from another country who is offended by the fact that I would even question this, I'd sure love to hear from women from countries where they don't shave or wax or burn it off or whatever. They don't laser it off. They don't believe in that. Maybe you've had some adventures with American men who've been freaked out by the way you look when you take your clothes off. Or guys, maybe you have had an experience with a woman. When she took her clothes off, there was hair in places you were just blown away. By the way... Worst one ever for me, I was with a woman who, unlike many platinum blondes who dye their hair, this woman was a real platinum blonde. And do you know how I know? Let's just put it this way. I got a big platinum blonde hair stuck in my teeth that was growing out of her nipple. Uh Uh-huh. That's right. So um, I'm curious, what are your experiences in this area? Tom Likas. 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. Tom, you are a god. You are my higher power, my friend. It's the Tom Likas Show. It's the Tom Likas Show at 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. All right, let's talk all that unexpected hair or the women who are offended that we would even discuss this topic. Brandon on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Tom, always a pleasure talking to you. How are you? I'm doing great. I'm doing fantastic. Hey, listen, so the story goes, I meet this girl. She's from North Carolina. Well, after about a week of kind of playing around a little bit, we start getting intimate, and uh, I stick my hand down her pants, and lo and behold, she's got Sigourney Weaver and gorillas down there <laughs> in the mist, hanging out, and I couldn't believe it. I jerked my hand out of there like it was on fire. I said, you got to go shave that right now. And I said, don't forget the legs either. Man, and did she do it? But she was great, man. She took care of me. She bought me all the things I wanted, took me to Mexico. And after the ride got boring six months later, I traded her in for a new one, a stripper. Wow. Was she offended when you talked about her hair like that? No. I just said, get it out of here. I don't like it. Don't want it. I'm out of here. She says, okay, I'm going to the bathroom. That's I'm trying. I'm, I, you know, I would hallway. love to. Don't I would the love. Legs. Hello. I would love to hear from women um, who are uh, like that. Unshaven, and I'd like to find out what what's the thinking there. I'd like to I'd like to understand. Oh, she said she made some excuse like, "Oh, I'm gonna uh, have it waxed." I go, "We well, don't need it four inches long to have it waxed." <laughs> man, I'm telling you, hey Tom, thanks a lot, man. Blow me up. Okay, here you go. One eight hundred five eight hundred. Tom is our telephone number. It's Scott. On the Tom Likas Show, hello. Hello, Tommy. Hello, Scotty. Hey, good. Hey, this is uh, close to my heart. I work in the inner city. I see this stuff all the time. I've seen mustaches, and I'm not talking lightly colored. I'm talking full Groucho March style. Mustaches, no. the cleavage hair, curlies between the breasts. Are you serious? No, I'm dead serious. And then the mole hair with the mole on the face and the giant black hair flying out of it. 
and I would love for some women to call in, like you said, and, and, and explain to us, guys, what are they thinking? Do they not have mirrors in their house? <laughs> and, and one more one more thing, Tom. The reason some guys, you know, trim all their, their hair down there is, keep in mind, the tree looks much bigger uh, out of the forest. Oh, I'm not criticizing guys for trimming up. I'm just saying there are even guys who trim, but there are women who just let it go wild. Yeah, it's crazy. I, 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 they've got to buy mirrors, and, and, and you know, I'm, this is a great topic. Maybe a few of them. If we can just convert I, a few I of them. strongly suspect that there are a lot of women who come to this country, since they don't sleep with other women, they don't know what the other women are doing. <laughs> Good point, buddy. You know, when you come to this country, you know, they teach you how to get a credit card, how to open a bank account. They teach you how to go to the phone company and get a phone. But nobody ever says, you know what, girls? You got to shave at least under your arms. All right, ladies? Come on. It's the <laughs> United States of America. <laughs> Good talking to you, buddy. Take me out African tribal style. Here it comes, Scott. Baninge, 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 so baninge, 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 so mama. 1-800-5800-TOM. Here comes Shane on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, Tom. How's it going? I'm okay, Shane. Good. All right. So I got one for you. I'm with this girl for a long time. Everything goes good. You know, we need so bad. And what it was was a mole with hair inside near her butt crack, man. No. Yes. Once I saw that thing, I almost jumped up and got glued to the wall. I couldn't believe, I, I didn't understand why she couldn't uh, burn that thing off. It had hair growing out of it. <laughs> now, did she, maybe she couldn't see it. Maybe she didn't know it was back there. No, I, I had a feeling that there was always something wrong because when I grabbed on her butt, every time I grabbed on her ass, she'd always feel weird and insecure. And, I, and she has a really big, a really big ass. But then I really got to see it in Vegas. And, oh, my God, I never talked to her the day after that. I'll tell you that. But she had a big hey. ass. I don't know why you went to Vegas with somebody with a big ass. What are you doing? <laughs> well, you know, <laughs> I thought it'd be a nice treat. But, man, once I saw that and the hair was growing out of it, out of this huge mole in her ass, I mean, it, it's scary. It scared the crap out of me. Now, I, is there an ethnicity or a racial issue here, or does this happen to just about anybody? I mean, pretty much anybody. I mean, I just... I mean, there's just a regular girl I met. I actually picked her up in the drive-thru. Wouldn't believe that. But, uh, you know, I think it can happen to anyone. I just don't see. I know she I know she knows. I told her to shave it off, and I never talked to her again. <laughs> <laughs> I never talked to her again. I mean, it creeped me out. I have nightmares of that thing. <laughs> wow. Yeah. But I appreciate that, Tom, for letting me on there. That's cool. <laughs> No problem. We do it as a public service, Shane, as you know. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. It's Dave on the Tom Likas Show. Hello, Dave. Tommy, what's happening? Uh, doing okay, Davey. All right, man. Check this out. Um, so my roommate's sister came over for this Christmas break, and she lives in Mexico. And we were drinking, and one thing led to another, and she got naked. And uh, right when the pants come off, it looked like Don. Oh, sorry, man. It. She had an incredible pubic nest going on, sir. Oh my! It was. It was just like it was ridiculous. But not only that, it looked like she was wearing a wool vest on her back. If she had such a hairy back, it was disturbing, brother. Now let me ask you this question: The roommate was also from Mexico because this was her sister, right? This was his sister. Yeah, he was. He was actually born in Los Angeles, but his family is from Mexico. So did he have any idea his sister looked like that with her clothes on? I hope not. <laughs> oh, I hope my. Not. Oh, yeah, my. But it was, and did you yeah. clue her in on how it's done here? I sure did. I. Oh, it was terrible. She didn't. She wasn't having it, though. She said, like, that was the way it should be, and it was all natural and whatever. And I was like, all right, later. <laughs> I no, wonder I how long this ha how, how often this happens I don't know I mean it's ridiculous Tommy hey man can oh, you take me out with a don't tase me bro I don't know if we have that though it would be a good one do we have that Art 
No, we don't. No, I'm sorry, Dave. We should get that one, though. Don't tase me, bro. 1-800-5-800-TOM is our telephone number. This is John on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. How's it going, Tom? It's going great. All right. Uh, here's the thing. I got with this girl. Uh, we, we got a hotel room. It started off at a party. We ended up in a hotel room doing some body shots, uh, tequila. And uh, I got up to use the bathroom and came back, and she was on the bed with her legs spread. And uh, you're not going to believe what I saw. I mean, I saw she had sideburns. I'm not talking on her face. <laughs> she had, like, you know, Elvis chops coming down her thigh. And, you know, the pubic hair of just below her belly button. I mean, it was an Amazon. Real? So, yeah. I had to do a double take. I grabbed the 50 tequila, like shook my head, did a double take at it. And I took one for the team, Tom. I, I, I went for it. And uh, when she fell asleep, I wrote a little note. I went to the gas station, picked up a Bic razor, and left a note saying, hey, you got to get rid of this. This is ridiculous, blah, blah, blah. I mean, I was a little more graphic than that. But, see, you and, didn't want to say anything to her. You didn't want to have this confrontation. Did you ever hear from her after that? No, no. I left her at the hotel room with the razor and uh, the note by her bed. And uh, I, I left, and I never heard from her again. Wow. Yeah, I, it was a scary sight, Tom. I did not want to see that again. Boy, I don't blame you. Yeah. So, hey, can you take me out with the bong rip? I certainly can. One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom is our telephone number. Here is Trey on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hi Tom, how's it going? Okay. So uh, my story is I went to this bar one time and met this chick, and she was like, uh, she was kind of like a hippie chick, you know. And then uh, so we decide, you know, we're gonna go back to my place, and then uh, we're in my car and we get to her place. I mean, we go to her place, and then I just I happen to look at her arms, and I could see hair coming out of her armpits and i was just like oh my goodness so i just had to be like look uh actually i'm just going to go home and i just left her there <laughs> i didn't go inside because i was like for arms or that i that. imagine what her like hoo hoo's like you know <laughs> so <laughs> i i imagine and then i looked up at this british girl one time and i swear you ever seen those things when like when people put bees all over their body yes like it looked like she was wearing, like, bees, like, down, like, all below her waist. It was, like, so thick and just, it was insane. Like, I don't know how I, I, I did it. I think I just had, like, had to have a lot, of, a lot to drink. But it was insane. I can't believe girls just don't take care of that. Like, it should be standard. Like should I be don't standard. think they know. I don't think they know. I don't think, see, I think your average woman has not seen a lot of other women naked. Yeah, it's probably true. But I don't and know, so, or at least they haven't seen them in this country. Like maybe they've only been in this country a while, or what? I don't. You see a lot more naked women than the average woman sees. Yeah, that's true. Well, yeah, I don't know, man. It should be something they're taught in school. I think it's just it's disgusting to like. It's the worst surprise ever. <laughs> Thank you, Trey. All right, thanks. Hey, can you take me out uh, Phoenix uh, helicopter crash? Oh, uh, that would be really tasteless. This may be the end of this thing. Oh, he's taking okay, off, he's out. running. Okay, uh, now it's a foot chase. Okay, now he's jumping to another, another vehicle. vehicle. Okay, okay. All right, they're Doors closing in. Police. Looks okay. like they've... Oh, Jesus. We're, we're going to pull out. We don't, we, don't, uh, we don't know what has just happened right there. Oh, yeah, we do. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. It's Jim on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, Tom, how you doing? Great. So uh, our 18th, uh, we graduate high school, we go on our senior trip, and, uh, we, you know, we're partying one night, and, you know, the girls have their own room, the guys have their own room. So, you know, this one girl drinks way too much. They take her home, and, you know, she goes to bed for the night. Well, the girls call us up to their room, so we're like, you know, maybe she puked or something. So, you know, we walk through the door, and she's laying there, like, on her side, but, her, you know, she's in her thong, and her ass is hanging out well. The thong goes into the, what looks like an Amazon forest and totally disappears. 
So this Afro has just ate her thong, and one of the other girls asked, you know, us guys, she's like, is that normal? And we're like, absolutely not. And the thing was, she's a she's a pretty blonde hair, blue, you know, blue eyed girl, and she's you know no ethnicity other than just your white average girl, and it was disgusting. Did the uh, her- did the carpet match the very long drapes? Uh, no, she must have been a fake blonde, but you know she was she was a good looking girl, and we were just all taken back. Nobody ever tried to hit on her. The rest of the trip, you know, this was the second night, and we were there for a week. But it was just amazing to see how much ass hair a girl can grow. That's the fault. It's like I don't even know how you wouldn't even know something like that. But it was it was a, it was a trip. We had a picture of it, but you know, it get lost through the ages. And who who, who wants to be the one uh, responsible for getting in trouble with that pic or something? You know? Well, you are not kidding. Tom Likas. One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. One eight hundred five eight hundred eight six six. I think I must do penance tonight for talking to you today because years ago I thought you were the seat of Satan and uh, and I've come around. It's the Tom Likas Show. From Hollywood. It's the Tom Likas Show. At one eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. You know, around the world, they would have different habits. And there are various racial groups, too, who just have uh, hair, and for whatever reason, they don't believe in doing anything about it. Ever been with somebody like that? Are you one of these people? Veronica, on the Tom Likas Show, hello. Hi, Tom. Hi. Hi, I just wanted to uh, make a quick comment. What um, you're talking about, about um, shaving and hair and stuff, um, I used to be one of those girls. I used to really not care, and I really didn't shave as well as I should have. And I met a man who was very assertive and told me, you got to shave that off. So it really So wait, let me ask you a question. I'm, I'm glad you called. Let me ask you a question. How did you not know to shave it off? Well, I really... I had done it before growing up as a young child, a young girl, a teenager, and maybe wasn't using the right tools. Wasn't quite sure what it was supposed to look like. It was uncomfortable. Uh, you know, I didn't know what I was doing pretty much. It took a man to do it for me to show me how to do it. <laughs> really? Yeah. I, have, I had two boyfriends that took me in the shower and showed me how to shave up. Wow. The room. Yeah, so it's, it's Unbelievable. Yeah, guys can, you know, be up forward and, you know, help us out. I, I don't sleep with Well, women. the thing I, is, we don't, we, the reason guys don't want to help you out is because you get women who get all indignant about this stuff. Like the guy who called in earlier, who got a lecture about how a woman believed it was all natural and I'm not going to shave it and it starts turning into a big fight. It, it, yeah, but uh, you know, luckily I'm not like that. I'm, you know, I'm a pretty open Show me what to know and let's see if it works for me. And so far it's worked. I keep myself well shaved now. I'm single again and I get out and you never know. I don't want to be getting, married. Are you getting better results now? I sure am. <laughs> I, I, um, I am. <laughs> no one is um, leaving. Well, that's good. So you, you think other guys had left too for that reason? Um, could be because now that... Um, kind of opened my eyes to this i i look at, at men and i think you know they can be groomed as well it looks better when you're nice and clean yes both ways now you don't have a unibrow do you i do not and well, if i check. did i would not <laughs> what kind of women have unibrows in your opinion i think um like women that uh maybe like middle eastern or Turkish or women um what, what am i trying to say very Different um, cultures. You know, the women that are wrapped up a lot. Women who are wrapped up a lot. You know, that uh, wear a lot of clothes. Uh, wear the, the Indian women, for example. Very hairy, you say? Yes. Unibrow. Wow. I, yeah. You know, I understand that your body may sprout hair in various places. My wonder, my question, what I wonder about is, is why they don't do anything about it when they're in the United States. 
You know, I don't, I don't know. See, I used to be like that. I, I grew up kind of hippie-ish, too. So for a long time, I didn't care. You know, it wasn't a big deal until um, I grew out of that stage. And um, now that I'm in my 30s, you know, I yeah, like... Yeah, you, you grew out of it uh, very, in a very thick manner, apparently. I sure did, Tom. Um, and now I like to be, you know, clean-shaven and smooth, and, and um, I take care of it. I like it. I like it better. And the results are a lot better. I understand. Yeah, well, Veronica. That... Yes, sir. No, go ahead. I, I just don't understand women who, especially here in our country, in our society, don't take care of that because I see it all day long at work, and it's appalling. Thank you, Veronica. Thank you, Tom. Okay. Take care. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. It's Mike on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, Tom. How are you? I'm doing great. So I was in Australia for about four months studying abroad, and I go out Which broad? Night. What's that? Which broad were you studying? <laughs> well, not, uh, not this one, unfortunately. So I go to this bar, meet this beautiful girl. She was actually American, and we, like, hook up, go out, like, the, for, like, the next week, and we're at our pool, this huge, like, Olympic-sized swimming pool, and she's kind of just sitting in the water with her feet in, and I'm, like, in between her legs, and we're talking, and I look down, and she's just got these hairy toes. And this is like a gorgeous girl with hairy toes. It was the most disgusting thing I've ever seen in my entire life. Hairy toes? Hairy toes. You see that every day in the shower. Wow. I didn't understand. Hairy? How hairy were they? They're like, you know how you have like a couple sprouts, like two or three? Well, that was like two or three just on like every toe. Really? Really. It was... uh and she was American too, but she was uh, of like Russian descent. So I don't, I don't know the correlation there, but it was. Uh, I actually ended up hooking up with her for like the most of the time that I was there. So obviously, I couldn't bring myself to tell her about it. But unbelievable. It was, yeah, it was. Uh, it was an experience. I just wonder how women cannot know that. I I don't know I th I think she I tried not to look at her feet as much as possible because the rest of her was pretty good and I I'm sure she knew like she had to have no like noticed I don't know I just don't she was American too so I don't get it because most of the girls don't have hair anywhere Wow yeah I don't I get it I don't want to take up any more of your time can you blow me up Yes of course I can blow you up are you ready one 800 800 tom that's our telephone number. Let's say hello here, oh my, Marcos on the Tom Likas Show. What's up, Tom? Not much. Okay, um, you've been to Cancun, right? I have not. You have not, okay. Well, I've been to Cabo, I've been to Puerto Vallarta, I have not done Cancun. Okay, well, I, I went to Cancun with three of the buddies, you know, stay there six days, six nights. Um, we are well into the week, and uh, we're chilling at the pool. I'm pretty sure maybe Cabo is the same as Cancun, you know, you chill at the pool. Um, and we're, like, right in the, in, in the other side of the pool, and in front of us, on the other side of the pool, is the, I guess, the exit from the hotel to the, to the pool. And we see this gorgeous, like, nice, thin, small waist, big butt. There's like a 10 um, black girl come out, okay? She's just gorgeous. You can just see from far away that she was just good-looking. She had a, a two-piece bathing suit, um, very small one. As she walked around the pool, you can see that she had a nice shaped butt. Well, she comes and stands right behind us. We have kind of like our, our elbows, you know, on the edge of the pool. And um, we turn around because we, we, we all like, you know, want to see what she looked like. We turn around and... She has a trail coming up her stomach of hair. Now, I'm not talking a shadow. If the, if the bathing suit would have been black, you would have confused it with a, a full, like a full piece bathing suit. It was a disgusting trail of hair coming like right up her, like to her chest. And I believe she might have been from like, I don't know, Europe or something. We didn't talk to her. We just 
like kind of walked away if somebody had peed in the pool or something. You know, but that's about the most weirdest hair on a girl's body I've ever seen. Like I've never wow. seen anything weirder than that. And that that was, even I don't like it on myself. I work out and I kind of trim it, you know, because I don't I just don't like it. But on a girl, that was the most disgusting thing I've ever seen. Unreal. Blow me up, Tom. I'll blow you up, baby. Here you go. One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom is our telephone number. Danny on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hello, Tom. Long Hello, Danny. Time. First time, long time. I'm a little bit uh... okay. I've been three months ago in Miami airport going through the customs, and I have this like blonde chick in front of me. She was looking hot, but when I looked down, she had like a, a skirt on her, and from her knees. Up, she had like hair on her feet. Okay, no, no hair from her knees down. Just going to up to her ass, and that was like really, really disgusting. And stayed like me for with me for like. So like she, let week. me understand this. She shaved below the knee. Exactly, like shaved. Everything was shaved, but from from the knees up, she had like a lot of hair, black hair. Holy cow! And she was wearing like a skirt. I don't think she maybe she thought that's hot or something. But for me, it was I stayed for with me for like a week. I I remember like every day that girl. She was so hot, beautiful blonde girl. But I don't know. That was like wrong. Was she from another country? Well, she looked like she she's like probably from like Russia or something. She was blonde, you know, like something like that. Blue blue eyes, and she was gorgeous, you know, like hot looking girl. But that hair, up her knees going to her ass, looked bad. <laughs> not, Danny, not uh, oh my God! Thank you for that, Danny. Uh, Whitney on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hello. Um, I yes. just wanted to say, um, I it was only just last year, or yeah, just last year that that I learned that um, uh, men would prefer that area shaved. So I, I was never taught that by my sisters, by my mother, by other girlfriends, nothing. Now I do. I mean, you know, I'm I'm nice and shaved everywhere else, but that's that's an area where I had no idea. And I, in fact, I had one boyfriend tell me that he liked uh, hair because otherwise, if it was smooth, it reminded him of a like a girl, and he thought that was creepy. Wow! <laughs> Disgusting. <laughs> totally. So, I, you know, huh? I take care of my stuff now, but it's. Um, I just wanted to say I I never learned that growing up. So that I think a lot of women never learn that, and I think that's what we're finding out here. Wow. One eight hundred five eight hundred. Tom is our telephone number. Here's a an email from a listener named Nick. Nick writes in and says, "Tom, I'm at work and I can't call in." But my wife's old best friend had a full-on beard. Black, dark hair on her face. She was not of any different ethnicity, not South American or anything like that, not European, nothing. Born and raised in America. Her mother does not have a beard. Her sister, her hot sister, doesn't have a beard. But she does. She shaves it. She would spend the night at our house a lot, and she would have a 5 o'clock shadow worse than me. It said that her mother took hormones during pregnancy, but I just wanted to share the point that American women can have this problem as well. That's from Nick. Holy cow. All right. Our email address is my name. It's Tom at BlowMeUpTom.com. That's Tom at... BlowMeUpTom.com Or, if you want to hear our show streaming live, go to our website, BlowMeUpTom.com Log on between 3 and 8 p.m. Pacific Time, and you'll be listening live. The Tom Likas Show. Yes.